I find Fort McMurray fascinating in a sense because in some ways we're just a small town, but because of our proximity to industry, we have a lot of people that typically would not be in a small town and we have sort of an international presence. But Anzac is an interesting hamlet kind of in the middle of it all. So what's your perspective on growing up there as an indigenous person? It has been very interesting actually, because growing up in Anzac, we're, there wasn't say D Alley when I was growing up. All of industry was north of Fort McMurray. So growing up, it was very small, very rural, dirt roads. There wasn't much infrastructure at all. And we were also bused into Fort McMurray for school every day. So now we don't have that anymore. We've seen the improvements now that the industry has came to the south. We've seen a lot of hurt within those improvements as well, though. But now working within the municipality from Anzac to Conklin, we're getting the infrastructure we need and the resources we need. So Anzac had no schools back then? Yeah, I had one school that was made, I believe, in 1984, okay. but it only went up to grade six. You had to go to high school in Fort McMurray? From grade seven to 12, yes. Oh, wow. What was that like? Interesting. There was a disconnect, too, from the rural communities to the city. And we called it the city back then, right? Yeah, yeah. But there wasn't a lot of awareness on Indigenous people as well. A lot of people thought that because I grew up in Anzac, I grew up on the reservation, which is right next door to us. We all see each other as one community, but it's not so. Has relationships between Indigenous and non-Indigenous improved in the region? I believe it really has improved a lot because the awareness is there now. What was that like back then? So there was a lot of discrimination and me being a light-skinned Indigenous person, I didn't feel it as much as my sister that's only a year older than me that did. Right. But now that a lot of the non-Indigenous people has moved into Anzac, so we do actually share a community together with the Métis, the First Nations and the non-Indigenous. Anzac to me is just, it's like the perfect place to, to live close enough to Fort McMurray but you're right by the lake. What's it like now? Anzac has really improved throughout the years. There's a separation there for the longest time between Conklin, John Bay and Anzac when industry was coming in. I remember growing up in Anzac and every fall, spring, summer, we'd always have a tournament and we'd either have one in Conklin, one in Anzac, one in John Bay. And the schools were always combined as a community. So that's why growing up and who I am today, I have a lot of friends in John Bay. I have a lot of friends in Conklin. You're running to be the counselor. I am. Why? I want to continue seeing the improvements. I don't want to see our rural Indigenous communities being on a setback. I want a constant voice for us. I want to make sure that the municipality knows our needs and knows our concerns and can grow with us. What type of things do you think that need to be better? I think the business aspects need to be better. I think the businesses need to grow more within the rural communities and I also think the taxes need to be a lot lower in the rural communities for the businesses. There's a lot of changes that need to be made, but I'll do my best to be that voice. What are five things you do for fun? I hang out with my daughters. I go to the trap line. I'm an active trapper with my dad. I love being within the community, it's community events, the cultural events, like our Métis festivals that we have, all the Métis festivals along 881 as well. Tell me about your role as the president of the Willow Lake Métis. Being president of the Willow Lake Métis is a really humbling position. I served eight years. I just got re-elected for my third term. I get to have constant connections with the people, with the communities, not just within the Anzac Willow Lake Métis Nation, it's also the Métis Nations of the whole region. We constantly get together and we collaborate together. The regional municipality with Buffalo is the same size as Nova Scotia. So if you think about it, you got Conklin all the way to Chip. How do you see us working better as a region? I think we're are starting to work better together. And I think business-wise, we should all be working together with the Willow Lake Métis Nation. We're collaborating with the other communities with the Traffic Working Group. We're working on lobbying for a safer rural 881. So how does someone get a hold of you? If someone can get a hold of me by giving me a call and uh, giving me an email or clicking on this link.